Hey guys, and welcome back to my room. So today I'm going to show you a pretty simple look, but it's really not about the look. It's about the products. I'm just going to run you through some products I think are beneficial to you, ways that I do things, um, things I've just learned over the years, and also I'm going to top it off with what makes a good palette in my eyes and what I would tell brands about making their palettes and what a consumer like me and most everyday women are looking for. If you're interested, keep watching. So these first two products I already have on because I like to let them sit for a second. Um, I always now start my face with a good skincare oil. This is from KK Jewels. This is her Glow Passion Oil. I put it in my hair. I put it on my face, I rub it in my hands, it just soaks into my body, and a good oil starts a good skincare type regimen to me, something that's going to bring you moisture. And then I always use a face primer, I think that it's just a good base when you paint a house or a canvas or anything, you always put a base down. So this is the base for your canvas and i already have this one on this is the elf mint melt primer it retails for eight dollars um but i like elf poreless putty primer as well so the next product that i would say um i do next not everybody takes this next step um first some people do their eyes first and things like this don't get the order all confused it doesn't matter put your makeup on in order that you choose to but I would say that a nice foundation, CC cream, whatever is next for me. And I'm really loving the HD Liquid, Con Liquid Coverage Foundation from Catrice. Um, you can literally find foundations at affordable prices everywhere. And actually, my favorite foundations are at the affordable price. I bought the Huda and this has beat it out. So the next step that I take, but another product that I think is good is a good concealer, but this is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. Um, and I literally just put this into places I want to brighten up or spots that I want to cover and I just work it in. But I think that a good, um, concealer can really just help cover places that you don't want seen they can help brighten up areas add a little um glow to your skin if you will they do make glowier um a glow one of these that will add glow to your skin but overall i like this one i do have the tarte glow one and i actually prefer not to use it it's actually too glowy if you can imagine that so a step that I take that you absolutely do not have to take, this is just what I like. Um, I'm going to use a putty blush, a cream blush, and I like to put this down before I set my makeup. I'm, that's how I'm most comfortable with it. I don't want it to pull my makeup away. I don't want to layer it on top of powder to risk the chance of it looking cakey. So I just go ahead and lay this down before I lay down my powder. These are like $6, I want to say. This one is in Tahiti from um, Elf Cosmetics. Super simple, but you don't, you absolutely do not need this. Another thing I use is a good setting powder. Um, this one, um, they say is a dupe for the Laura Mercier um, powder, but this is the Elf Halo Glow setting powder. And I am trying to use um, affordable makeup this go around because if you're just starting out, you don't want to spend a ton of money on makeup. Or maybe you do, I don't know, but I feel like majority of consumers will want to start out with good priced items that they feel like they're getting a bang for their buck with. So this is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. And I get it, I get it in pink, um, but they make it in several colors as well. All right, so I'm going to move on to my eyebrows. Um, I just recommend a really simple brow pencil. This is the Instant Lift Brow Pencil from e.l.f. It's $2.
and then this is the billion dollar brows clear brow gel um i don't know how much it retails for i got it in a boxy charm but you could literally use any brow gel um or no brow gel at all and just use the pencil but whatever you want is completely fine but these are some good options um so basically i just draw fill in my brows and then i go over with this clear brow gel or my elf wow brow yes it retails for four bucks and it has little fibers in it and it's really really nice um so i mean there's so many affordable options you don't have to spend a ton of money for this next product that i use i recently discovered them i think they're good buys these are all in one face palettes and this one goes even a step further. It has three eyeshadows in it. I don't use the eyeshadows because I'm not a fan of Milani eyeshadows. But it has the other face products in it. Like your bronzer, your highlight, and two blushes. That's gen generally what you would think for powder um, face products that you're just going to use to finish off your face. These retail for $15. Catrice has one as well. Another really good option is these e.l.f. Bite Size Duos. They come with a blush and a highlight, and they retail for 3 bucks. Again, you don't have to break the bank to make your face look super glowy and beautiful. Another step that I take that you absolutely do not, but it's because I touch my face a lot, I use a... Um, setting spray ColourPop has a fantastic one elf has fantastic ones i the i use urban decay all nighter just because i live in georgia it's really humid it's really hot especially like the further and further we go into summer Ugh. so this helps my makeup stay and put all day but again don't go spend however much this costs because there are literally so many others, like Hard Candy puts has one out that's a, like an all-nighter kind of dupe thing. Um, so, I mean, shop around. The next product I re recommend picking up is an eyeshadow base, a primer. You're the same way that you prime your face, you want to prime your eyes and get it ready for the product. Give you something to hold your eyeshadow to hold on to. I just put a little bit on the back of my hand, put it on a little sponge, and like bounce it on my eyelids. You don't have to do it this way. You can just use your fingers, of course. Um, but for me, this has created a more even base for me, and I'm not a patient person, so I don't like to have to sit there and play with my fingers to do it. So it's just an easy way to do it. This one is the one from Milani. It costs $7, I think. So, super affordable, super easy. Um, anyway, so pick this one up. Profusion also has a really good one. One product I just wanted to point out real quick. These are a dollar from Dollar Tree. I buy them constantly. I've given away in giveaways. Um, if people buy any makeup from me, I include one of these. I think they're such a good invention. These are the color switch and basically, if you have um, eyeshadow on your brush or any brush and it's dirty, you just, and you want to switch colors because you love using this brush, you just swatch it on here and it will pull any of that color off so you're good to start again. So I'm going to move on to eyeshadow palettes. This is just one I pulled out today. Of course, there are so, so, so many affordable eyeshadow palettes from my small brands that I support from Makeup Revolution. These are the Forever Flawless. They retail for 15 bucks. They're beautiful. ColourPop, of course, with their nine pans and actually really any of their pans. Um, they've come out with a new quad. I mean, there's just so much. How could you ever get enough of it? So I just wanted to point this out real quick. Something that makes key points that make a really good palette for me. I need a good transition shade. I need a good transitioning down shade. I need a good crease shade. And usually the color I use in my crease is also the color I use for depth. And then I like to add in a good shimmer. And the reason that I'm not going in depth showing you where I put products or watching me put them on 
is really, really simple. If you've watched me for any length amount of time, you've seen my lives, any other video, I am usually putting on makeup. Um, so I just feel like if you need help in that area, I have some videos up for you that you're welcome to go check out um, and see about placement, about certain products and where they go. I even have my favorites video up. Um, I have so much stuff and you can always send me a message and ask me. The next couple of things I'm gonna show you, eyelash curler, I know people say <laughs> these are eyelid death traps. They can be really tricky, just be really careful with them. These are from Tweezerman. Um, and then for mascara, I've been using this Essence um, Lash Primer and I have seen a difference. I actually had stopped using mascara and went to lashes for a little while. Um, but then yesterday when I went back to this, I was like, oh yeah, this is so good. And then I alternate between a lengthening mascara and a thickening mascara. So Maybelline Sky High and Luscious are my go-tos. And I just wanna say that I alternate between two mascaras because if you can see, my eyelashes are short, they're blonde, and they don't like holding a curl. So I alternate between the two mascaras to just really try to help with that. And I know that y'all are waiting to see me do something like crazy, outrageous, and <laughs> just off the wall with my makeup, something bright and fun. And I do like doing those, but I feel like I've always tried to reach the everyday woman like me, things that I've discovered, things that I've done over these past uh, 20 years, <laughs> what I have really found that I enjoy, what, I, what works for me could work for somebody else, but if not, at least I can set them on a path where they feel like there's help for their short blonde eyelashes and then to finish off my look i am going to use one of my small brands today um this is gypsy lipsy this is her gypsy lips she was in my favorites um i also included her in new releases um so this is whimsy pink it is the cbd lip gloss i love this gloss so so much and originally when you look at the price, you think it's a lot of money. Um, and it is, but with the benefits of it, it's great. And she always has a deal going on where if you buy two, you get one free. So basically you're gonna get three lip glosses for $50. But then you can use my code, Ashley Makeup, and that'll take 10% off of that. So you're still gonna save money. You're gonna get more for your money. And just look at these colors, they're beautiful. So shop small, um, really go go look her up. She just had a launch this past Friday. She has another launch coming at the end of the month of an eyeshadow palette, and it's gonna be fantastic. I also just wanna throw this out there also really, really quick, because y'all hear me talk about this constantly, but I am so not kidding. And she has some new products coming out and I'm so excited. So this is Royal Girl Lip Scrub. I am loving the coconut, okay? And it is so good. It's gonna last forever. It is a huge little container of it. Guys, these are $3.50 for these homemade, amazing big tube lip scrubs. This is Royal Girl Cosmetics. You can use code Ashley Makeup to get you some money off. All right, guys, that's it for me. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I hope this helps you. You see something that maybe you need to use or you wasn't sure about getting, and I'm here to say, go spend a little bit of money. The dogs are going crazy. A storm is upon us, um, and I really need to get to work. I hope that y'all enjoyed this. I will see y'all later. Be safe, be a light, spread love like glitter. Bye.